Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are back again and I am running it back once again. Do you know, this is like my third recording of the day. Hey, we just played uh, Tainted Samson, so why not some regular Samson? Back to back Samson these. I do quite like regular Samson. Starting with Child's Heart makes him uh, pop off just a little bit on the earlier floor, so do not mind that at all. Especially if we've got a sack room as well. This could be, this could be some sauce right here. Anyways, we'll see what we end up getting. Uh, but yeah, like, I, I, I don't know why, but today, today's just one of those days where I'm like, hell, I just want to play some Isaac, baby. We'll do that for the damage. Do you know what? I'll do it again. Grab a little bit of damage for the rest of this floor. Child's heart's likely to pay out with some good stuff later on anyway, so we don't have to worry too much about our HP. Good, good. You can go down a little chunker. I've, I've, I've got to the point now with, uh, with modded Isaac, at least, where... All the, like, re-sprites and stuff that I've got, I'm really happy with them. I mean, it's why I downloaded them in the first place. But, like, so much so to the point where I kind of forget what's re-sprited and what isn't. I don't know if you ever get that with modded stuff, where a mod is, like, so integrated into how you play the game. Like, Ipecac was like that for a long time, because I used Ipecac in AB+. Where it's just so weird going back to the vanilla game and realizing, that's so fucking popping. Hell yes. That's so good for us. My god, with Child's Heart... This should somewhat pop off. We should get a good amount here. Child heart. Let me let me see exactly how it works. Because I always forget. 10% chance for room clear rewards to be a random heart. Chance for a bonus heart from chest, tinted rocks, and destroyed machines. Cool. Okay. So we know how that works now. But yeah, this is this is good. This this could hopefully pop the hell off. And I'm excited for that prospect. Obviously, it's only a 10% chance for a heart, that's not a lot. But Getting uh, random hearts from other things is going to be quite nice. And that soul heart there is very, very nice. I kind of wish I'd have played the sack room a little more before picking that up, to be honest. But I think it's okay. Uh, but yeah, anything else we can get to to give ourselves some more HP. Um, red heart containers or actual just red hearts on the floor is going to be really, really nice. That was a whiff and a half. I'll go for that again. There you go. It's a bit of a waste of bombs there, I realise, but... I couldn't, I couldn't live with myself with that sort of whiff. But yeah, like, is there any mods that you guys play with, like, on the regular that are just, like, so integral to how you play the game that you forget they're vanilla? One of the ones for me that I, that I kind of find that, that really just fits into the game so well is, um, I, okay, we'll take all of these. Um, I, I really think, oh, there you go. And an estrogen up as well. Okay, estrogen up's pretty good because it, it gives us the, the, the boys, but also let's pick up red hearts later on. Um, but what, one of the ones for me that's like super integral, it's the better bomb blasts. Like, I, I cannot even remember what the old bomb blasts look like because the new ones are just so much better in every way, shape, and form. Okay, we've got to be a little careful here. We're probably end up losing our estrogen babies, which is a weird thing to call them, but, you know. Um, but we're going to end up losing our, our blobby boys quite quickly, because remember, that at a certain point, they only have one HP. I think we just lost one there. Um, but we'll keep them for as long as we can, and uh, the more estrogen pills we can find later on is going to be good. Oh, my lord. Yeah, we just lost another. These enemies particularly are really, really hard to keep our, uh, our clotties alive with. I'm trying to keep them alive, I promise. I think I've only got, yeah, I've only got one left now. So they didn't last long, but hey, hurt. Whoa, 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 whoa. That guy transformed. Do you see that? He was a normal one, then just all of a sudden became a, a muller boom. Kind of a hard room here with the Pyrons. Pyrons are super cool enemies, by the way. I love them. I, I know the developers, or at least some of the developers of Ipecac, aren't a huge fan of them, but I think they're really cool. I think they fit into the game quite well. If not, maybe a little strong for the floor they appear on, but they're still, they're still really cool nonetheless. Right. Pop in here. Oh! This is some good stuff right here. <coughs> I apologize, but this is some good stuff. I haven't had Polly in a while, and also, I feel like the last few times I've had Polly, I've had it like quite late into a run where it's like not felt as impactful, it's not been as sort of big of an anchor to the run. But this is feeling very anchory. I don't know if our little dude is getting the poly damage as well, but if he is, we need some more of them guys. Oh god! Oh, that was that was kind of spicy. We've, we've not had, had any uh, room clear heart drops. Not have many at all. I think we just lost him. We did, my baby. There goes my hero. 
Watch him as he goes. There goes my hero. Can't believe he's gone. How sad. How big, how bad, how sad. Okay, we've got to actually play through this horrible room that I despise, but let's just go for it. I'm really bad at this room. I've just, just, just stay behind this block and everything's going to be okay. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm not quite sure. Here we go. We found it. We found it. Look at that. Oh, one-shotting these enemies. That's the sauce you like to see. And then we've got that semi-piercing um, semi, um, semi as well, which is really nice. The sun. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. And I say... Surprisingly, these little maggots have more health than those bigger ones. Safety pin isn't the best here. I'm going to go angel deal here just because I feel like our um, red health is a little more important on this run. Oh my. I don't know if we have any good way of dealing ourselves with some red heart damage. We don't really. It'd be nice if we could find a way. Get like a get like a spicy little IV bag or something. Do you know what? I'm not going to go downpour this time. I go downpour quite a lot recently. I'm just going to take the normal route. Yeah, if we can find like a blood donation machine and get like an IV bag or something, that'd be really nice. I like the little baby tear that comes out after Polly hits. It's funny. Little baby, little baby boy tear. My god, he's so small. He's so small. Oh, but yes, I am uh, I'm excited today because I am raring up for just a big night in. Do you know, like, do you know, like, how... I don't know how if you ever get this where, like... You, especially for me, because I work from home. Technically, every day and every night is a night in, unless something like special is happening and we're going out somewhere. But basically, every night is a night in. But then, when you like plan for a night in, especially yeah, as I live with my girlfriend, we both sort of plan to have a night in and like get takeaway and watch TV. It's just, I don't know, it's more exciting. <laughs> that sounds really sad. It sounds like we don't do anything and uh, watching TV is an exciting time. But no, we're. Um, we're ordering from a, a place called Burger Sluts, which is just a brilliant name for a burger place, but it's also a fantastic burger place. You know, um, I don't know if you've ever had them. They're, they're pretty common uh, nowadays. They've got, sort of risen to popularity recently. Uh, Smash Burgers, where it's essentially like a bear, like instead of making a burger patty, they get like a, a just like a ball of, of the minced meat and just kind of mash it against the pan and like cook it really quickly. Uh, they're really nice, and uh, yeah, the burgers are like, you can get like a triple one of those uh, with like cheese and onion rings, and oh, it's just, it's the best. And they do like these like Oreo milkshakes and stuff that are just fantastic, so got that planned. It sounds like I'm just excited about the food now, but no, also, um, me and my girlfriend, we're, we're planning to um, watch some Peep Show because we haven't watched it in like two years at this point, which is kind of crazy considering it's like both of our favorite shows, so... We both watched it about 10 times each, but it's still like a, a fantastic rewatch for us both. So, planning on just sitting in and watching as much of that as we can in a single night. And it's it's just going to be great. I'm excited. Oh, there's so many red hearts. Thunder thighs. Do you know what? I will take thunder thighs because my speed is so very good. Remember that it does give us the ability to walk on rocks. Yeah, with our speed being so good... I want to take it, and also on top of that, oh, that was a really, really bad uh, idea to there uh, to try and uh, push that. But yeah, also, um, I wanted the the health to try and get some get some sort of gambit going with. Uh, you know, what, I'll go in my care room here as well. Get some sort of gambit. Oh, this is not great. Oh, we got a soul hat out of it though, so it's fine. Okay, that that went, that, that didn't go great, but it went okay. Oh, there's so many red hearts. I need an IV bag real bad. Or like a razor blade or something. Because I could be getting so many stats off of these. And then obviously the damage for the floor as well. Like, we could really be popping off right about now. And we're uh, we're not living to our fullest. But yeah, how many of you just like sort of... It doesn't even have to be with your significant other. Like, just have a... Like, plan for just a night in, which is basically what you do all the time anyways. But, or like a plan for like a big gaming session... Even if it's just like a solo game, like sometimes, like recently, actually, I did this where I've been uh, I've been playing GTA San Andreas recently because 
I've never actually properly played San Andreas. Like, I've played some of the story missions. I've played the game a bunch, but I've never played it all the way through. And recently, I obviously with the with the uh, definitive edition coming out and it being just absolutely, really, the first mushroom I touch. Um, with it just being absolutely ass, um, infested, lemon party. Uh, I was, like, looking online for, like, people do doing, like their own remakes of San Andreas using mods and someone made like a really really cool looking one and left like a tutorial for how to install it all and I was like do you know what that sounds awesome ah just a fly I was like that sounds awesome I'm gonna see if I can install all these mods and I managed to do it I've actually thought about streaming it potentially because it is I've got it to a really good spot like adds a ton of new features fixes a bunch of things um changes like the draw distance in a meaningful way rather than just the way the enhanced edition did uh, the definitive edition, sorry. And yeah, it just it just adds a bunch of cool stuff. Uh secret room wise, what are we thinking? Hmm. Secret room's probably over this wall here. I would expect. It's not there. Okay, it could actually be. There's a few places it could be, to be honest, because it could be directly down from this door here. Which I'll try. We've got enough bombs, I'll try them all. No. Or it could be directly across on this wall here. Which is more likely. There you go. Hey, little greed. Hell yes. Not only do we respawn as greed if we die, but also this dude is just great. He has triple shot and can um, he can make enemies drop coins when he hits them. He's just really good. Oh, honestly, I say it every single time. But holy hell, whoever resprited Ragmega there. Just the best job I've ever seen anyone do at anything in my life. <laughs> It's so good. It's so good. Anyways. It's like the best resprite I've ever seen. Makes the boss actually like fit in so much more. We do have a crane game, but we gotta play this bad boy. Okay. We emptied out a few hearts, got our damage up to a good a good point here. Let's try and get a, a heart upgrade out of this guy. There you go. And we got all lovers as well. Oh, what the hell? Okay. She's my lover. Sadly, that doesn't actually count as picking up red hearts for us here, but we'll at least get ourselves up to a good amount of damage here. There you go. Do you know what? I've never really played one of these guys out, so let's try it out. There you go, heart upgrade. I like it. Okay, now we've got some red hearts to fill. Should we play this as well, see what we get? I don't actually want the watermelon, but... Fruity Plum, I want Fruity Plum. Hell yes. Hell yes. Okay, I am feeling good now. I am feeling good now. Glitch heart going hard. We need some red hearts though, please. That's an identified pill. We don't want that. Yeah, we're pretty strong now. I mean, at the minute we're at max damage from Bloody Lust anyways. So that's going to be strong, but just generally. We are at a very good spot. I'm hoping we get a bunch of red heart drops like that last floor. You actually won't get any this floor now. We won't get a single one for some reason. Nice. Just get rid of some of these rocks. Just get him out of the way. Oh, ho, ho, my little greed buddy. He's the best little fella. I remember when this guy had an unlock. I can't remember what it was now. I think Ipecac scrapped unlocks for a little bit. Damn it. Catch you. Do any of you have like a, a favorite a favorite takeaway place that's like it's not like a chain place, it's just somewhere that like you and your family go, or that's like near your house that's just like absolute like top quality shit. There's like a few of them. So back at my parents' house there was this place called Star Pizza, which was just the best. It was absolutely amazing. Um 
Used to love going there. It was like, I don't know what it was. It was just, it was just kind of a regular pizza place. It didn't do anything super special, but like the dough and the toppings, everything about it, it just, it was great. I don't know if it's just because it was like the pizza that I kind of, or the takeaway pizza that I grew up on, um, that makes it taste so good. Cause it's got like, you know, like you kind of got like good memories with it sort of thing. Um, oh, that's such a good item, but I don't think we take it because it replaces all of our hearts with soul hearts. And I genuinely think that's a bad idea for us right now, which, in my opinion, just goes to show how good of a design that item has. You get your three free hits of floor, but you have to lose all your red hearts, which sometimes it's not a problem at all. In fact, most times it's not, but sometimes you do not want that at all. And this is one of those times. Cat comes too. Oh, we got some soul hearts here. That's good because we needed the soul heart anyways. We need rune to pick up the soul heart, should I say? Good, good. Oh my god, we're just not getting any red heart drops, are we? It's kind of sad. Right, let's quick, quickly check our shop because I, I would buy. Ooh, sheesh. I will take that. And I really need to, uh, like, be less mean to my donation machine, I realize, but I don't know if I can. I don't even know how this will work with IV bag. I didn't even consider that, but electric dice is one of my favorite items in the game, so I will take it whenever I see it. Okay, it does work. Maybe it's an anti-synergy? Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, good. It does give us the damage. I was thinking, what if it just gave us the damage per hit, not the damage per health lost, but it does give us the damage per health lost. Hey, thanks for the penny, boy. Ow. I lost the burn heart, but honestly, I wasn't attached to that burn heart at all. God damn it, that was a hard room. Where's all my red heart drops? That one floor. I got like a billion red hearts, and now it's like desolate. Okay, there you go. We got one. This is a horrible room. Oh my god, this room is a nightmare. This room is a nightmare. Down out, down out, down. Fucking ghosts. God damn. That was a, a trial. I will buy the heart and I will buy the soul heart. Nothing more, nothing less. Item room. What do you hold for me? Something to generate more red hearts, perhaps. Mmm. That's pretty good. It didn't solve the. I don't know, that's, that's a very good item. It would kind of cut off our ability to, to play into this situation we got going on, but it is a very good item. Allowing us to reroll items into any pool. I'm, I'm very tempted by it, I'll tell you that. I'm very tempted by it, but I think the tried and true, the tried and true tactic with this guy is IV bag. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows IV bag. It is the way. When's, when's Mandalorian coming out anyways? The next season of that. I want that bad boy. Give me some Mando. I love Mandalorian. I mean I just like Star Wars in general. I'm I'm of the of the rare type that actually quite liked the prequels. I'm sure people will think I'm an absolute bastard, but I watched them as a kid, and I went to see um, Revenge of the Sith in cinema, and I loved it. And people can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> I mean, I, I had watched the other films prior to watching the prequels, but I was still young when I watched them, so... I don't know. They just hold a... I would say it's a special place, but, like, I still hold them kind of dear. And I don't I don't mind if people mean on, mean on them, because I know that they're bad films. <laughs> they're definitely bad films, but I do enjoy them. Ah, get cheated. Chat shit. 
get banged. Oh god. I feel like these dudes have really odd hitboxes. I don't know if it's the respray or if they were always like that. But like, look at that. I felt like I hit him and it missed. It's okay. God damn it. Boom bow. Stop. Puke it up, boys. We don't want none of your shit. That is a mimic. I see you. I did think that when I walked past it. Uh, picking up an active for the first time gives you a respective wisp. Increases the chance for tinted rocks appearing. It did give us a gold one. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Seems like an interesting idea. Especially if it spawns us two wisps. I feel like I say wisps weird. Wisps. Wisps. Pss, pss, pss. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that word, but it's like getting caught on my tongue. Hey, I didn't even think that would be secret room. I just tried it. Ugh. Why? Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Why do you get set on fire? Does it? Does the angel dude set him on fire? That's news to me if he does. Yeah, I think he does. Okay, so it do you can deal damage to enemies with this thing. There's not a lot. That's some good stuff there. It's a lot of damage. Oh my god. My lord. This is spicy. The praying altar is just too tempting. Like, it's such a bad idea, and every time I do it, I'm pretty certain I'm gonna end up killing myself, but like, I want to do it. I see you there, she-devil. What we like to see. Just remember, getting hit by an enemy is far, far better than getting hit by her. Also, what champion was that? Like a chocolate milk champion? That's a big boy. Holy hell. This is a very brimstone heavy room. Ow. I got hit, but it's okay. I'm not really relying on devil deals right now. Did I, have I had any angel or devil deals this uh, this run? I don't think I have, have I? Yeah, shut up, you. Making your little creepy noises. Trying to scare me. I'm not having it. Yeah, it does at least set enemies on fire. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it sets enemies on fire. Which I can respect. I'm kind of setting damage on purpose here to get my damage up, or that's what I'm telling people. Kind of a hard room here. Oh, that was close. It's not that hard to avoid, but it is still just... It makes everything more tense. Like, so much more tense. Temperance machine. Oh my, how am I meant to... Yeah, what is this champion? Ah, oh, there's a broken heart. Some of these rooms are real rough. Some of these rooms are hella rough. Charge key. I do want the key. I'll say that for sure. Give me the key. Why with the ghosty boy? Why? Oh, I, I got him just. Bacana. Why not? Give me the temperance card. Fuck. You big scaly bitch. Oh my lord. Damn it, a chest we can't even open. Hell yes, I'm taking almond milk. Hell yes, I'm taking leech. 
You think I fear almond milk? Never. More like almond joy. Not that we have those in the UK, but I know they're a sweet. H Hello? <laughs> he wouldn't back off. Almond milk's just funny anyways. Also, uh, leech should save us. Leech should save us a reasonable amount. Obviously, we won't get uh, stat ups because we weren't, we're not technically picking up the hearts. We're just healing. But it should still save us a good amount. Like that. It didn't actually up... I think Alma Mill didn't actually up our fire rate all that much whatsoever, did it? This is just like an average run now. What's left? Something was, but I don't know what it was. Yeah, adding almond milk to this has just kind of put our fire rate and damage to two very, like, pretty good, but like kind of average levels where neither are neither are amazing now, rather than just our damage being amazing, which I suppose is fine. But I, I'm just saying, I'm not I'm not afraid of a bit of almond milk. It's a weird run to pick it up on, but I'm not going to say no to it when it shows up. Okay. Oh, that was a... R oh. I can't believe how bad I've been at getting my angel deals in this run. Not had a single Pringle one. Um, I think I'm going to take this and, and bounce. I'll be honest. Ooh, you do want IV bag. That's tempting to give you it. I lost my soul heart already. Oh, no, it's back. It's back. This, yeah, I gotta say, this is a nightmare filled room full of absolute pain and fear. So we lost that angel deal again. It's okay. It's okay. We're, we're, we're stepping our way through here. We're stepping on the beach. Do, 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 do. Stepping on the beach. Do, do. Thank you, leech. This is uh, also a nightmare filled room. It's okay, little praying altar boy. I, I keep calling him altar boy. He's not an altar boy. I don't know. Maybe he's a boy. He's more of an angelic being than a boy. Oh, my lord. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. I just said don't hurt me, for fuck's sake. Were you not listening? My god. It's Toma. Leechy, my baby. Heal me. Thank you. Back to full. Oh, for God's sake. It's okay. We're up to full health. And Binky should help. Binky does help a lot. Yeah. Binky's giving us a pretty big fire rate boost there. Probably another room where we're not going to be keeping our devil deal. Angel deal. Whatever we might be getting. It is angel deal. Hello again, you. Another really, really bad room for this setup. Yep, it's gone again. No angel deal for me. Angel deals never to return. RIP 2020. Just keep going. 
What is this room? This room is a waking nightmare. Okay, just keep speeding. We've got we've got the speed. Oh my god, again. Again with these shenanigans. Really, I should be uh, popping this whenever I can to pick up red hearts. I realize I should also maybe leave them for when I need them. But at the same time, stats. Remember, don't worry about getting hit because Leech can sort us out. Leech can sort us out. Get into a room like this and just let Leech go to town. Horrible room. Horrible room. Right, Leech, you can do the rest. Eat up, fella. Honestly, you're taking too long. I was, I was going to let you eat up, but you're taking too long. Ooh. This could, uh, this, this could lead to some extra spice. It most certainly does. Just the one dash for you, I see. Oh my god. So much extra spice. High Priest. Ooh. Boom. Boom. Give me those stats, baby. Oh god, these dudes are they, these dudes are a pain. Oh my god. I'm fucking dodging this guy by the skin of my teeth. Come on, you, there's literally nothing left for you to buff. Give me that key. Ah! 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 <laughs> the pain. The pain. Oh my lord. How have I only been hit by this thing once so far? It is a mystery to everyone involved. I think we got spectral from our uh, hookworm here. Ow, the rock hurt me. The rock dealt damage. And again, I got hit. Okay, Leechy boy, get get in here and, and munch on some fools. Didn't even barely munch. This is a room that I see as getting hit by the, the ghosty boy in. Oh, well, getting hit by something in, yep. Do you know what? This is just too hard of a room for me to actually play normally. I'm just going to plant a bomb down. This room is horrible. What the fuck? God damn, that was awful. Oh, the rock hurt me again. Fuck. God damn it. Fuck. I do not trust you, Angel. No place to run. I'm so fucked. Didn't give me any hearts. You, you charlatan. You heathen. Not even a few hearts. Not even a morsel. I don't like what you're doing. Dude, these enemies are so difficult. Okay, these things have things in them. They have people in them. I'm going to need my leech to like really kill like just everything for me soon. Because I am quite literally shitting the bed. Oh, good. You made me hit the dude! You bonked me right into him. And I got a broken heart out of it. It's not a fair trade. I can't. 
can't maneuver through these rooms. This is a trash fire full of pain. Why are all the rooms just not the right way? Okay. Okay. Still can't pick that up, shit. You little fucker! Leech, I really need you to just munch every soul in existence right now. Every single being that exists must be munched. It's the wrong way again. It's always, it's always the wrong way. It's always the wrong way. No matter where I go. What the hell hit me then? I basically can't focus on anything, so all I'm ever focusing on is this angel. I can be your angle or your devil. This is such a wacky run. Get me the hell out of here now. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely bailing from that room. Oh, I still get hit. I still get hit. I need a full health pill and I need it now. This is going to be a hard fight. I'm going to have to keep moving constantly. Trying not to get hit. Immediately hit twice. Less than 20% into the fight. Good. Stop making noises of positivity. I don't, I don't like it. Stop it. Nothing positive about your demise. Fucking go away. Angelic little hussy. No, I got hit again. Fuck me. At this point, broken hearts are better. No! You motherfucking... Oh, no way. You can't be serious. Yeah. Yeah, funny. Two broken heart keeper. Anyways, that altar can go fuck itself because I will take it every time I see it, guaranteed, and I will always die. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.